lighting's gonna suck for the first half sections of this video. But we're literally about to get the blizzard of a century. This has by far been the snowiest winter I have experienced in years. My plan for right now is to drive around now. The snow started at 8.15. I walked around a little bit. It's currently 8.42. There's already so much snow. So right now we're gonna go drive around and see what it's like out. And then I'm gonna come back home and then go back out around midnight. So it's 8.43 right now and let's get exploring. What do you say, Leda, ready? You probably can't see her because it's too dark. <laughs> Dang. That's snow. The snow is already starting to cover the road and I swear it even, hasn't even been snowing <laughs> for 30 minutes, like just about 30 minutes. The truck is having no issue at all. Okay, let's get to the... I mean, I'm five foot one, but damn, this is... I don't think I'm gonna be able to go through. Look at that snow drift. Go through this gate. Oh, wow, and there's like nothing over here. Okay, this is nuts. Hey Sue, oh, Sue, wrong car. Tizzy. Wow. Okay, as you can see, we obviously got a lot of snow overnight. Uh, we're still kind of in the midst of this. Um, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're literally in the blizzard of the century. And um, without showing too much of where I live, this is a car. This is how deep the snow is. They basically plowed us in. I'm gonna try and shovel this to get the truck out. And I just don't think it's gonna work looking at it now. It's like five feet of snow over like a six foot length period. Um, as much as I would love to show you guys me shoveling the snow, uh, I don't want to show my neighborhood. So <laughs> I'm going to shovel the snow and we're going to try and get the truck out. I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, new plan. I'm just going to try and drive this to see how far it can make it. And then if it doesn't make it very far, I'll shovel. But yeah, I don't want to waste my energy trying to shovel because if the truck has the power to get through a lot of snow, then I'm going to use it. I'm just sweating. All right, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put it in four high. I'm just going to drive initially to see how this works. I got a solution. 
this. I have a solution. I am definitely stuck. I thought I could plow through it. Um, well, I can't move right now. Clear out the left tire. The right tire looks clear. And then I might use my recovery tracks. So we're gonna use recovery tracks to see if that will help. Once again, thank you Vic Off-Roading for supplying me with these tracks that I've never used in a situation like this before. Okay. This is how I set this up. Oh God. Community, I'm so sorry. If I'm an embarrassment to you, I just really don't know what I'm doing. Let's try this again. Are the issue? All right, let me shovel the truck out. Quick update. I think it's the front tires not making traction. So I put the track under this tire. It's so deep. That tire is just not looking good. So I'm gonna try and drive through it again. We'll see how this works. I'm, I'm really stuck. <sighs> No. No. Okay. I'm not gonna burn out my tires. up totally being a different video. I don't know why you get to get this truck unstuck. I'm trying to unstuck it again. We have a track here. Unstuck this tire a little bit and got a track there. Our issue is do you see the snow drift? The wind and the plows just keep pushing more snow to the side and in front of us. So it's just it's like fighting two evils. Hi, it's me. I need to pop in here really quick and I just need to say a few things. I understand what I did with the truck. I kind of high centered the truck and just made it almost impossible for it to move. I had no traction on the ground. I know everything I did wrong. This was a great learning process for me but you guys are about to be really, really angry with me. We were digging for three hours, trying to get this truck unstuck. Three hours, the windshield was about bouncing between zero and negative two. We were cold. <laughs> so where you see the tracks right now, one track is behind the front wheel of the driver and another track is behind the rear, rear wheel of the passenger. The position of these tracks was what ultimately ended up getting us unstuck, along with, as you can also see, us clearing the snow beneath the bottom of the truck. I was clearing snow for a really long time underneath the truck, and when I went to get back in the truck to see if it would unstuck, I stopped recording because my battery was on 11% and I didn't wanna waste any more battery. And it was ultimately the time the truck got unstuck. And I am so sorry, I don't have the video of us finally getting the truck unstuck, but I thought 
I had to come on here and explain what we did. I am so frustrated. My parents haven't let me <laughs> live this down that I didn't record this damn footage. And I'm really, really sorry I don't have it on camera, but hopefully this explanation helps you <laughs> learn a little bit. This was truly a learning process for me. And I'm so sorry, I don't have the footage. It, it's literally kept me up for two nights in a row. I, I'm just so frustrated. But anyways, I'll continue with the video. We got out of the stuck. Thanks to my mother. I'm just not showing the neighborhood. So I'm pointing it down. We use the Vic off-road recovering tracks. That's where the bottom of the truck was. That's and yes, thanks Vic off-road. They actually really worked. And of course I didn't record it because I'm an idiot. I should have recorded get in it. The right spot. Yeah, we had to get them in the right spot. We had to dig out this even more the problem was just we're fighting the wind like i said the plows and there's ice underneath here we did it and we are not moving the truck for the rest of the until everything's cleaned out so i'm sorry guys this is not going to end up being a truck in the crazy blizzard video because i don't even want to first i don't want to dig this out i don't want to get stuck anymore but we'll continue on to our next adventure That is what happened with that and I'm so sorry I didn't record it but it just took a lot of work and I was getting frustrated so I turned off the camera and that was that so I am going to continue with another snow adventure Hi! I'm going to continue with another snow adventure today thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video I'm sorry I didn't record it <laughs>